What's up guys, here we are another week at the Home Theater Hobbyist and this week we have a tour of my home theater. So let's get to it. So here we are guys, this is my home theater here circa 2018. I've made a few upgrades that I'm pretty happy about so I decided it's time to do another video and one of the main upgrades I've made is the paint. I was thinking about doing something in the gray family like a Munso gray which is a very neutral gray. Um, wasn't able to get that but I got something from my uh, local hardware store that is gray. I went through about six different samples and uh, landed on this one is the one I like the best. It's kind of it pulls a little blue but I like it because it's able to show off sort of the speakers a little bit better the center copper of the uh, clip speakers and speaking of the center copper here they are here's the front sound stage I left the cover on the front left just so you can get an idea of what it looks like with the cover on but those uh, left and right speakers are the Clips RP 260Fs they're a um, um, just floor standing speakers from the Clips reference Premier line we've got the Clips RP 440C as my center channel which I really really like and my surrounds both left right and rear are the Clips RP 150Ms and let me move over here so you guys can see that left surround there so there it is and let's move again to the front up front we've got I talked to you about the subwoofer last time that is the Super Search VTF2 MK5 it's a 12 inch subwoofer that's uh, got two ports as you can see there I've got one plug if you want to find out more about that I have revealed that on the channel I also have the oh before I forget um, Dolby Atmos so up here I've got my Dolby Atmos speakers I've got them mounted on some mounts that I bought from Amazon I was thinking about putting those up there in the ceiling I went up in my attic because this is the room above the garage it's a little tight up there and um, so since I haven't settled on putting speakers up there I decided to just use these these are the Energy Take Classic 5.1 system uh, speakers they're just little satellite speakers that I have mounted up there and you can see the cable hiding there speaking of cable hiding a lot of you said in my last video a lot of comments were like oh man you've really got to hide your cables and I totally agree with you guys I 100% even when I was filming the videos like I really got to hide those cables but I decided to wait because there were some other things I was doing and um, so now they're all hidden away either under the carpet or under a cable hiding some cable hiding stuff that I got from my local hardware store um, let's see and also I bought that rug there to hide the cables for my rear uh, speakers so let's see here we go we've got the Denon AVR-X4400H that's currently my receiver it is a 9.2 channel amplifier um, 9.2 channels of amplification I've done a review on that I really really like it uh, up above it I still have my Yamaha RXV uh, 673 which is my previous receiver and we we'll probably do a video on something dealing with that uh, here soon and what else do we have we've got this Panasonic Blu-ray player and a Roku Ultra oh yeah and the main uh, thing of the show is of course the TV which is the Panasonic 55 ST50 say uh, plasma from 2012 I really really like it uh, hopefully I'll go to uh, 4k this year that's sort of the plan and uh, wow the colors are going kind of weird on the camera um, and let's see what else is important here oh the TV stand I'm actually pretty happy and excited about the TV stand mainly because I've been looking for a TV stand for quite some time uh, I wanted something where I could put my center channel on a shelf and not have my TV sitting on top of it so I was able to find this at Walmart it's a uh, zip line something or other everything that I bought here that I have I'm gonna put in the description below so you can find out a little bit more about it um, but that's just the TV stand I have and it's got three shelves um, they're glass I don't really love that but it really works for what I'm doing because I'm able to put a receiver on each shelf um, it has like a 65 pound weight limit so I can't put two receivers on a sh on any one shelf but one works so I really really like that and what else is there anything else that's important um, I think those are the main things I was able to hide my cables which is a huge huge comment on my last video and um, I've got a lot of new stuff in here oh yeah I will be going dual subwoofers at some point 
Um, I'm happy that I didn't go that go that route initially because there's some other subwoofers or, I'd or at least one other subwoofer I'd like to try in here um, along with the Sioux. And so I'll probably do that here hopefully in the next month or two. We'll see. Um, but everything is going well. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But otherwise, I really, really enjoy it. Um, I sit nearly in the middle of the room, which a lot of people say, oh, that's terrible, you know, for all sorts of reasons. And I totally agree. And I'm trying to mute that out with some some different little things. But um, I kind of like this particular seating position in this room just because of the way the room is set up. I did try a lot of different setups in this room and they didn't really work. This actually works the best. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this video, and also please consider supporting us on Patreon if you can. We'll talk to you next time.